A lot can go wrong with deployments, and getting hard hat set up can be a pretty cumbersome process. If you're new here, I'm Kat. Today on Eat the Blocks, I'm going to walk you through my automated hard hat template repository that makes it a breeze to get started on your next project. We'll start by clicking Use This Template in order to create a copy of this repository and clone it to your local machine. From here, simply navigate to the folder and install dependencies as per usual. Afterwards, all you need to do is run my Diag script and now you have an ENV file and functional hardhat project. But first, a message from our sponsor. For premium Web3 content, our mentorship program, and access to our private Discord server, sign up today at eattheblocks.com. We have an excellent selection of free and paid courses exclusively available through our main website. Push the bounds of what you think is possible and become the best developer you can be. The first time you run any hardhat-related script in this repository, it will check to see if you have an ENV file to begin with and create one if needed. This ENV preset includes free node providers right off the bat. It will work, but you'll need to supply your own coin market cap and scanner API keys to make the gas reporter or automated contract verification kick in. To edit the available networks, all you need to do is add the appropriate fields to your ENV file and edit the credentials in the utility folder. If you need to make changes to the gas reporter or solidity settings, edit the config class in the hardhat config file. Manual edits to the hardhat config are required for changes not related to solidity, gas reporter, networks, or etherscan fields, and I left it this way because you should normally never have to bother. If you run any of my default scripts in the package JSON, it will tell you what features are disabled and how to enable them. Since this is the second time you were using Hardhat, it will actually check to see if you put in at least one wallet key and generate five of them for you if they're missing. Diagnostics are off by default, but can be activated by simply requiring the script at the top. Now, if you take a look at the deployment script, you'll see that you can simultaneously deploy a contract to any available network and verify it on the relevant scanner in a single line of code. Going under the hood, it will actually check to see if verification is possible on that network before proceeding with or skipping this step altogether, meaning that you can always use the and verify method no matter what. Deployment artifacts like addresses or interfaces are stored in the utilities folder and retrieval is also streamlined into one-liners with my contract scripts. Over time, I'll be continuously adding to this template repository, so be sure to star and watch for updates. If you have suggestions, feel free to fork in PR. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next one.